Hey guys, and welcome back to The Evil Within. When we last left off, we were enjoying a lovely uh, walk through this delicious art gallery. Um, came to the end here to find a load of supplies. We've been trying to turn on this stable... F uh, well, I guess that's the stable field emitter. Um, and we came across a bag overloaded with supplies. So, boss fight? This has to be the emitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ominous room is ominous. Um, nice little creepy bit of atmosphere here, actually. I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. Lots of photo developing equipment. Very nice. It's a dark room, all right. Um, question is, who does it belong to? Well, we know it. It belongs to that Stefan dickhead. Uh, I would assume. Well, let's not overlock the elephant in connect the room. An authorized terminal. Uh, terminal. Must mean this communicator. Yeah. Stick it in there, ladder. Ooh, 90 seconds. I hope that's seconds and not minutes. Hello. Oh, is that you, Stefan? Um. I guess it is. You've been searching for me for so long. You so prick. I have come. But wait. Oh God. It's not me you seek, is it? No. It's the girl. I should be offended. <laughs> you look like an emo. But how can I be? You're not the only person who wants her power. There is another, one far more deserving. Even one a who can offer rewards you could never imagine. Get so on. sorry, but you've been outbid. <sighs> oh man. Fear radiates from you. Oh damn. It's beautiful, but not yet finished. I am Stefano, and now you are my art. Okay, so he doesn't actually look like I would imagine. Son of a bitch! Yeah, I don't really know how we can fight. Uh oh, that what the fuck? I don't know how we can really fight that kind of. Meet oh, my beautiful yeah. obscura. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that thing is fucking cool. That thing is stopping the emitter from activating. Yeah, no shit. Okay, that is cool. How do we do? We have to kill it. Oh man. Oh man, she gets a uh, Jimmy on, doesn't she? Do we have to kill her? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, hell. Hell fire. We need something bigger. Come on, baby. Woo. I just have to hold it off until the emitter starts. Just have to hold it off. Alright. We can do that, I think. Seventy seconds. Come on, baby. Just gotta hold her off. We can do that. Oh god. Hey no 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 no. Excuse me, can you Ouch Can you stop freezing my thing please? If you'd be so kind. Man, you look amazing. That is so cool. Enemy design in this game has been superb. Forty seconds. 
Damn it! Can you stop doing that, please? There we go. Uh oh. Run. Right. Let's have a syringe. Uh, Sab, I said, have a syringe. Oh, she's on the roof now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, not good. Oh, God. Look, I need that up and running to get rid of you, mainly. Where are you? Shit, where are you? You're having a good time wherever you are. Sebastian does not want to be left out of this good time. There you are. Oh, that worked. That worked very well. Ten seconds. All right, noted. Come on, you bitch. How are you gonna act? Two seconds. One. You're fucked. Okay, that was a lot easier than I anticipated. <coughs> you are out of here. Reminds me a little bit of those um, mannequins from uh, Silent Hill 2. Mannequin dummies. Stabilization procedure completed. Great. Saved my own ass. But what am I supposed to do now? If well, he's gone, he didn't leave Lily here. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. One step at a time, my friend. Maybe I'll get a signal outside. Maybe. Maybe. Any other goodies laying around? You know, actually, this crossbow. Quite a useful bit of kit. Especially these stun bolts. Very cheap to make. Ooh, herbage. Very cheap to make. Unlike the handgun. Now, I Oh, nice. I like the handgun a lot, but we just can't carry enough ammo for it. Which is a sad time. Because I am a big fan of my handgun. I actually really enjoyed the handgun in the first game, but... It did get to a point where it was proper obsolete, though. Can we go through here? Nope. Ooh, more explosives. We shall take them. And, of course, by explosives, I mean nails. Nope, that's the room we came from. Guessing this is the way we go? Nope. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright. Well, Sebastian, you did a pretty good job that. I'm proud of you, buddy. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, well, hello there. seeing you momentarily I hope I was thinking we hadn't seen one of those for a long time I've probably missed thousands of the fucking things and uh, as a few of you guys have pointed them out to me which um, I always appreciate although if you are gonna point I will say one thing if you are gonna point things out to me in videos uh, which, I, as I said, I always appreciate it. Please timestamp it, because going through an entire video um, to see something you've mentioned is uh, uh, quite quite difficult. Um, okay, social facade maintenance. Oh. 
In order to maintain a conflict-free, um, obstinate uh, population, we must provide bureaucratic systems and increase the illusion of productivity. Yeah. Uh, to that end, a city hall will be rendered to represent a seat of government. Each citizen will be required to submit for a series of licenses that will be, require several forms of com, uh, oh, accompanying fees, of course. Content, uh, TBD fabrication team developing now. A mayoral election will be held in which citizens will be able to vote between two operatives of our choice following standard real world election process already in place. New union... Expansion renderers will retain the American build mold, um, but uh, retrograded by 30% to allow for citizens' domicile improvements and individualization. Ooh. These new measures should keep the population calm and normalized. The docile populace will aid in the expansion of union, which will ultimately lead to enough uh, citizen memory units to achieve phase two. I don't get the whole point of trying to get everybody locked up into this um, into this system. I mean, how's mankind going to advance if everyone's locked away in this place? Like, you got to think of the grand scheme, like the space program. Um, you know, oh, you know what? It's a bit of a waste, but... You know, scientific um, improvement and the betterment of mankind... You know, if you've only got like a few thousand people on the quote outside, it's not really a good thing for humanity to be locked up in a in a matrix type thing. I mean, I can understand. Um, for and how would you generate any kind of profit or anything off that? You know, everyone living in a virtual world. <coughs> it doesn't make any sense, and the resources that would be required to Can't feed and sustain these bastards everyone. Use Lily like some kind of science experiment. And then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess? It's like some kind of sick joke. I know, Sab. I know. And we're working on it, buddy. We are. Um, yeah, I just don't understand, like, the point of it. I can understand uh, for an experiment, having a few thousand people or whatever locked away in this sort of system. Just, I don't know, for funsies. But the entire human race? It just seems... Well, apart from a few thousand people pulling the strings. It just seems pointless. And I suppose research and things could continue on in this simulation. Because people wouldn't be aware. I don't know. It's all very strange. But nothing would be happening in the real world though. You know? Where did I see that? statue it was down here somewhere I think it was in that other room yeah gimme 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 nice so do we have two keys now? No, I don't think so. I think we just got the one. Ooh. Yes! Sweet, sweet mama. Um... Okay. I guess we're done here. I guess. I can't believe we've already put like 10 hours into this game. I always think that, that is a sign of a good game. That you're having so much fun you just don't notice the time going. Uh, how many weapon parts do we have? Not enough. Oh, No, not enough. I guess we can just leave out the front door now. Boink! Let's get old Faithful out. Uh, this isn't exactly the front door. Front door's back this way. Okay. Yes. Honestly. Ooh. 
much better. Now, do we have uh, the it. armies of the undead out here now? Son of a bitch still has Lily. He does. But we've repaired a little bit, buddy. And now I'm back to square one again. Not quite. Um. Well, yes, okay. Maybe. We've re-established contact with the marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Evil McEvil. Finally. Are you alright? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Uh, I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> he looked like a totally different man. Just as much as you do, Sebastian. Oh, I doubt that. Yeah, sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. Oh? She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can do <coughs> and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Yeah. Huh. Well, let's have a little walk around. Ooh. I think I might have just figured it out. Yeah. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I oh, just have to find my way yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there. O'Neill will probably know what to do. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Uh, Sorry. That lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. You may need a little guidance here. I'm on it. it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that, buddy. The chapters seem a lot shorter than um, they were in the first one. Um, but potentially you can spend a lot more time exploring in this game. Uh, I, uh, man, do we have to go back to the Marrow? I mean, I know, obviously, we'd have to go back to the Marrow to get to the next location. But I was really hoping that there would be some kind of quick travel. Uh, between places that you've already visited. Oh. Oh. Oh, medical pouch. Well, we don't really need the medical pouch, but uh, we'll take it. Damn! That got fucked up. Oh, hey, bub. What you got for me? What you got for me? Syringe, most likely. Or probably just some herbage. Oh no, a medical pouch upgrade. Okay. Now you're talking. Now that was good. 
All right, buddy, I take it back. I would like to look up where... I don't want to look stuff up. That's the thing, man. Like, when you play a game for the first time, I don't like using guides and all that kind of crap. But it's kind of weird when you let's play a game, because you don't want to spend hours running around aimlessly doing nothing. <coughs> well, yeah, quote nothing. I mean, you're always doing something, but... You know what I mean? Like, I always thought that was with my Horizon Zero Dawn thing. Uh, I ran around on camera and I did everything. And there was like hours and hours and hours of videos of, uh, you know, nothing actually happening. Um, so. Okay, so we can now hold six syringes, which is actually really nice. Ah, back to the marrow. Ooh. Do we... Seriously miss that? Well, okay. Can't go back through there. Uh, what time are we on? 21. We've got time. It's going to get confusing going to like all these areas. Unless later on in the game there will be a, a quicker, easier way to pass between everything. Uh, I don't think we need a coffee, do we? But we do need to go to Sab's room. <coughs> and I do apologise about the coughing and sniffling. Um, it's not much fun for me either, so don't worry about it. Uh, now, where would she have put that? We haven't found any more slides. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, you know, if you could just patch that stuff in, um, have at it. If you can just patch me up with green gel, what are you waiting for, Lily? You're not even called Lily, are you? You're called Kidman. Julie. Just plug it into my veins and call it a day. Um, right. Any more information here? I'm sure she said she was going to send some stuff here. What about that? Is that a file? It is a file, but we can't read it. Open the door! Yes, Pusscat. Oh well. Back to the brain chat. Be cool if there's more shooting galleries later on. I see you're in need of my services again. Always, my dear. Always. You are a rather useful individual. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh. Rubbish. Rubbish. Utter rubbish. I am disappointed. Uh, let's see what upgrades we can get, if any. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Yeah, so Maybe you keep telling you me. Think about adding some combat skills. Funny enough, um, Talia, we, we we've been doing a lot of fighting. Uh, you know, uh, I don't see. This is one thing that confuses me. Melee melee attacks, including attacks with weapons like knives and axes, do more damage. But I don't know if. Oh, we can't. Ah, we're kind of tapped out here. I don't know if that, um. If you can actually kill enemies in melee. I know in the first game, well, at least from my uh, experimentation, you couldn't. But. I don't know. More health might be nice. Can't quite afford that. All that. That's in. That's curious. The maximum stamina gauge is only 170 percent. It was like 200 in the first game. Recover more health. Yeah, this could be useful. So could that. In all fairness. Uh, recover more health when using healing items. Sure. 
Uh, health, recovery speed increased. Yep. Oh, can't quite get that, which is unfortunate. Recover more health when using healing items. These are actually quite cheap. Uh, considering. Which is interesting. Can't get those. Uh, more health. Total health recovered when regenerating. That's quite nice. But let's just get more health. Right, let's get out of it. Right, we've got more health now at least. Um, weapon parts seem to be a bit of a premium. We need some more bullets. Let's just make like 20. I do like the handgun. And back to the marrow. Right, let's go. Back to El Marrow. We're going to drop a save. Man, that was so much gunpowder to use, but the handgun is genuinely really good. So I'm not that salty about it. Um, right. Actually, what time are we on? We're actually on 27 minutes. There's no point really going into the marrow at this point. I might just end this video here early, guys. Um, so I want to check something anyway. I want to make sure my audio is okay. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. When we come back, we're going to go explore the marrow. Um, I might look... I might look a couple of things up. Nothing's going to ruin the game, but I might look up if there is an easy way later on of quick travelling through. Um... Yeah, I might do that quickly. Because that's the kind of thing that's going to annoy me. Especially if we have to keep going back to the marrow. And enemies respawn down there. Which I'm going to assume they do between chapters. Um, hmm, might quickly look that up. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.